Good morning, homespun friends. It is Sherry, and it's great to see you on this rainy, terrible, yucky day that we are having. Um, it has rained so much here in the southeast since really like November. It has just been a gully washer. Every week we've had a significant amount of rain, and I think it has rained since Christmas all the way through to now, which today is like the fourth, I think. So it is just it is just, well, no, today's the third. It has rained so much, and our yard is standing in water, and my hair is absolutely crazy because I do have wild and crazy curly hair, and um, my neighbor's rain gauge, she's always really good to keep me informed about how much rain we've had. It's been broken throughout the month of December. Uh, the little glass tube that she has in it had broken, so she notified me today that she had just been able to locate a replacement tube and so she had put that on Facebook and I'm so thankful because now we will have an accurate reading of just how much rain we've been getting and if you hear splashing going on my front door is just right here and that's where you're hearing it from it, even though I have a storm door right there it's so loud the rain that you can actually hear it coming through the front door today um, I thought this would just be a good day to come to you guys and share with you some of my favorite items from Amazon and to let you know um, that I have an Amazon page where you can go and you can look at all of the items that I really enjoy. Um, these are going to be items I have purchased for myself and used them and tried them and I like them uh, because certainly I wouldn't recommend anything that I don't like. So you can know that if it's on that page, it's something that I highly recommend. And I just thought I would share a little bit of this with you because you, um, most people like to shop on Amazon. They like to see what's out there and what other people are buying. I do. I love to see what other people are purchasing so I can decide if it's something I would like to use in my life. And so I'm coming to you today to share that. Now, before I get started, I will share one item that I do not think is on Amazon. I'm not sure, but um, my friend Steph on the last video had said she was waiting for me to talk about my necklace. And I absolutely love this necklace. This is one of my Christmas presents from my parents. My dad went online and he picked uh, these necklaces out for me and my two daughters and my daughter-in-law because we all have children and he uh, got us this necklace and uh, I had you know two sons and then I had the twin girls so there's my children and each one of the um, the moms got their children on their necklace and I love it it's one of those chains that um, you can make short or long longer and, uh, and I, I really loved wearing this since Christmas. I find myself wearing it almost every day because it's comfortable and it's kind of eye-catching. And I'm going to ask him where he got this. I know he buys a lot of things from Amazon, um, but he also buys things from the Wish app. I don't know how many of you use Wish or Wish.com, but their items are very inexpensive. But you have to sometimes wait several weeks, you know, for them to finally arrive, at, at, you know, in shipping. Um, because sometimes they're coming from far away places. So um, if you're willing to wait, the Wish app is fantastic because you can get like charms for a dollar or two dollars. So um, anyway, I'll have to ask him where he got this, but that's my little necklace that I got, one of my Christmas presents, and I really do love it. Now, um, another thing that I purchased and I did not get on Amazon, but I wanted to show it to you. Uh, during the Christmas season, we had gone up to the mountains one day to uh, my husband's um birthplace and we were shopping in the quaint little town there and there was a hallmark shop there that had so many beautiful things and they had ginger snaps and i don't know how many of you are familiar with ginger snap jewelry um but they had ginger snaps and i, I love them I, I didn't really have any but my dad had bought me on the wish app like a generic little snap necklace and i had loved it and he had bought me several little snap charms to interchange with it and so when I saw this bracelet, my husband said, you need to pick you out um, some kind of a souvenir for today. And so um, and so I got this little bracelet for $12. And that's the, the vacant little spot where the snap goes. And as you can see, it says Ginger Snap. So this is a, a name brand bracelet. Not all of them, you know, not, you could interchange generic snaps, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It doesn't have to be a Ginger Snap. But anyway, I love this bracelet. I loved how it looked. It was just so cool. And this is one of the... I could pick one snap to go with it, and he bought me a second snap also. This is a name name brand snap too, and it is my home state of North Carolina and um, with the heart on it. And I absolutely love this bracelet, and um, I have worn it many times, and just it's very, very comfortable, and I wear a lot of black. Matter of fact, I have on black pants today with this pink, and so um, it's something that I really enjoy wearing. So that was, you know, that necklace my dad had bought me, and then this bracelet, 
um, really got me in tune to starting. I started looking for other snap type things. I'm like, I want to get some extra little, you know, designs to go on the jewelry that I have. And in the process, I found this on Amazon. And it is on my influencer page. So when you go over to the link that I'm going to give you, you're going to see this little um, charm over there. And it does not come with the necklace. The necklace is mine. I interchanged this necklace with a lot of different charms that I have. But I got this cute little gingerbread man. Now he's a pretty good size. As you can see, he's really, he's a standout. When I wear it, almost every time I wear it, I get uh, comments on it. Somebody says, oh, of your necklace because you know you can wear a snowman all winter long so I'm going to wear this until February's over and two snaps came with him I can't remember how much he was but it's over there on the Amazon page I think it might have been eight dollars and he came with two snaps and I got free shipping and one of the snaps was this one he goes right right there isn't that cute so when I wear something red I can uh, wear that one and then I also got this snowflake that came with it like this. So if you're wearing something that's not red, you know, if you're wearing pink like today, I could wear this real pretty snowman here with the snowflake on it. And then I also could wear this on the bracelet that I got, which I love. And uh, so you can take the, the North Carolina uh, little snap off and I could put this snap on like this. So that would be really pretty um, on the bracelet. So. Anyway, I love all these snaps. I've bought several things, but the snowman and his little snaps, they are over there on my page, and you're going to be able to see them. The snaps came with the little snowman, so what you're you're getting is, is one price for all of that, and um, if you're interested in something like that, it wasn't very expensive, and with just one or two charms and then uh, a few of the snaps to interchange, you can make um, just a few pieces of jewelry look like they're always different, and that's what I really love about it. So that is there. Now, um, another thing that I have on today that came from Amazon is the top that I'm wearing. I know you can't see the whole thing, but it is a long sleeve, very soft. I've had this one for, uh, I think this is my third year wearing this particular top, and I love it. It's not very heavy because I don't love to wear really heavy clothes. Um, and I have this these types of tops linked over there and I have many colors they come in long sleeved quarter a uh, three-quarter length and also short sleeve and I have several black I have a navy I have like a turquoise blue um, I have a kind of like a burgundy uh, I have a red I have several different types of these shirts and every one of them feels good and is held up great so that is linked over there if you want to check it out and I'm trying to think about how much I paid for this it was somewhere, it might have been like $11.99 or something like that, or $10.99, I can't really be sure, but it was worth every penny, because after after the first couple that I ordered came, I went back and ordered more a couple of different times, and I kind of added to my wardrobe with these, because they're so comfortable for everyday wear, and even I wear them to church um, with different types of slacks and skirts and things, so I also got... Um, some of these little lightweight jackets that are sort of made out of the same type of material. And these little jackets are so perfect for what I need. And, um, you know, a lot of times you just, you want, I don't want to wear something really heavy a lot of times because when I go into a place, I have to take this big heavy coat off and I have to put it over my arm and I have to keep up with it everywhere I go. If it's really cold outside, that's fine. But if it's just like a normal day here in North Carolina, um, you know, most of the time a lightweight jacket will do. And so this is perfect for that. Now, the length of these comes down to like my mid-thigh. And um, so uh, I tend to wear the X's, 1X, um, most commonly. And sometimes I'll get a 2X, but it tends to be a little bit big. But um, so uh, they also have, you know, small, medium, large in these. And um, so you can check this out. This These jackets right now I think are $15.99. Sometimes you can find them for $13.99. I have a gray... I have a two black ones um, that I wear. I have, this is the black one, and it's, it's one that I wear, I mean, the black ones I wear a lot, and that's why I have two, because I, I wear them a lot. Um, I have a red one that is so pretty. Um, this is perfect for everything this time of the year, because you get into Christmas, and then you get into Valentine's Day, and there, you know, so this, the red one is just always uh, eye-catching. See, my hair is falling on there. And so there's the room. Some of them have pockets and some of them don't. 
This particular one has some little pockets on it, as you can see right here. Let me see if I can show you the little pocket on the front. But um, this is the only one I bought that has pockets. The rest don't have pockets. And then I have one that's this color that I really love because I can wear it with pretty much everything. It's kind of like the black. You can wear it with everything. And it's kind of like a um, whitish cream kind of color. So I have linked the jackets in my on my Amazon page if you want to check them out. Then you can go over there and see what that's about. Another thing that um, I did with my Amazon page this past year is in the wintertime uh, when the flu was running rampant. And I don't know if you remember last year how terrible the flu was. My daughters had begun talking about elderberry syrup. I never heard very much about elderberry syrup. I don't know if you have. But it was commonly said that people who take elderberry syrup, you know, maybe one to three tablespoons twice a day or something, that they tend to fight off the flu better than people who don't take it. And so as the flu season ramped up, my daughter said, we're going to start giving this to our kids because it's, it's homeopathic and children can take it just like adults can. And then we're going to start giving it to our kids and try to keep them healthy from the flu because they're out in preschool and stuff like that around other kids in church and, you know, they're more apt to get the flu. And so um, they, they found a little bottle each. And when they went back to buy more, all the elderberry syrup was sold out. It was sold out. And uh, our grandchildren did end up getting the flu, um, the majority of them did, but it only lasted anywhere from like two to four days with them. It wasn't like a full two to three week thing like a lot of people and children were experiencing. And my daughters really attributed their quick rebound to the use of the elderberry syrup. You know, my husband had the flu and he had it for two full weeks and then he had a rebound episode of the flu. He thought he was dying. So I told him, I said, we haven't taken the elderberry syrup, but we're going to start because we need to protect ourselves. And what we discovered is that we could not find the elderberry syrup anywhere. It was sold out everywhere. It was sold out on Amazon, everywhere online that we went, it was sold out. And so... One of the one of my daughters had a local connection to a girl who made it, who made it at her home, and she was sold out. But she made one batch for it. She thought, "I've got a little bit left. I can make a batch for, um, for you for my daughter." My daughter bought it from her, and she halved it with her sister. And in the meantime, I started looking up how to make elderberry syrup at home, and I found that the ingredients it it wasn't a lot of ingredients. It was elderberries, it was ginger, it was cinnamon and honey and water. And it looked fairly simple to make. Um, and so I thought, you know, I'm going to try to order these ingredients off Amazon and make it myself at home. And I knew my husband would want to help me because he's always into those kind of things. And so that's what we did. Now, the elderberries were expensive. I'm going to tell you that I thought that they were. Um, we got a bag of elderberries, and I think they were like 35 bucks. And um, you do not eat elderberries. They are almost like poisonous if you eat them. So don't let your child eat them or your pet eat them. Be real careful when you get them. What you do is you boil the elderberries in water and then that water makes the base for your syrup. And I was thinking when this bag came in of elderberries, it was going to be for $35, I was going to get this like pintos, you know, I was going to get this big bag of beans, you know. No, I really, it's not that way. It came in this bag right here. I'm going to show it to you came from the Frontier Co-op, dried the whole elderberries, European elderberries. They were certified organic. And this is the size of bag that they came in. But you can see how many that we have left. Um, we have about half the bag left, and we made uh, two or three batches. So it only takes so many of the elderberries, not a whole lot. So when you buy that one bag of elderberries for $35 or $40, you're going to be getting a lot of medicine for the money that you spend. And so we bought the, um, the organic berries. And I'm just going to see if I could show you what they look like. I'm just going to try to pour a little bit because you may be curious about what does that look like. Let me see if I can show you. It looks like this. Almost looks like little peppercorns. And, um, and they have a kind of a strong smell to them that's not necessarily offensive, but it's just strong. And, um, and so we have a, a good many of those left. We're going to be making some more elderberry syrup soon. We also went ahead and online and purchased these um, these extra items, the organic cinnamon and the organic ginger. Let's see if we can. 
and you can see how much of that we have left. I mean, it just, you know, you can use this for other recipes that you have. And then we also ordered um, the honey because we're about out of our, we were out of our local honey. So we ordered the, un, the raw unfiltered honey, which is what they recommended. Those were the four ingredients that we needed to make this. And we also, I think, ordered some little bottles to put this in. But you can use, like, um, you can use your mason jars, any type of little glass jar that you have you can use it. And so we made up some different batches and gave it out to our family and started taking it for ourselves. And, and it doesn't taste bad. It tastes pretty good. The kids take it right down. They didn't complain about it. They, they, you know, unlike other medicines they complain about, they really enjoyed uh, taking this and it wasn't like a fight. Um, so I will link these items. I don't know that they're up there right now, but I, I'm going to go up there and put these items that make the elderberry syrup I'm going to put that on my Amazon page. So you guys, if you want to see what we purchased, you will be able to get it also and make it for your family and see how you feel about it. You know, when it comes to your health, I guess the way we feel is that it's better to be preventive than um, to wait until you're sick. And after my husband had such a terrible time last year, we realized, you know, we really should have been getting prepared ahead of time so that we could fight this off a little bit better. So, um, I'll put that up there for you. Now, another item that uh, I want to share with you that I got um, on Amazon is my day planner. Now, I had one last year that I shared with you guys, and it was, um, I think it was a faith. It was a, a faith happy planner, and I got it at Hobby Lobby, but you could get it on Amazon a little bit cheaper. And, uh, and so this year I decided I wanted a fresh change. I really love the looks of this particular planner. You don't have to get a new cover and binder every year. You can just purchase the, the guts inside, um, so that you're saving a little bit of money that way. Um, but I just love this. I wanted a fresh start. And so I purchased this happy planner. I don't know if you can see it because the, the reflection is so bad guys. And I'm sorry, that's the light from my front window. It's pretty strong. And it says, life is lovely. And it has these beautiful um, roses on it. And um, there we go. That might be the better view that you can see. And then inside, all of this came with it. And uh, these are all the insides. And it came with, I'm trying to think, uh, it was a, one of those 16-month calendars. You know, so it started back and it uh, went from maybe like September. And it went on all the way through December. Um, but you like next December, I can just buy the insides and use this same cover, which I really like. And so, um, here I'll show you what, what it looks like inside. Um, I love the fact that it has a lot of little places where you can write things and, um, put financial figures on it. Um, I was going to, let me choose a blank one. So I'm not showing you my private information here. All right, let's go to March. Okay. Um, all right, so here is March, and I'll let you see what this looks like. This is like the month at a glance for, for 2019, and it has places that you can write particular tasks. It has some sidebars. It has some vacant places up here where you can put stickers or special things that you want to add. And then as you turn the pages, you get the individual days that you can um, line up here. So here starts March. And so, you know, you've got three sections like morning, noon, and evening where you can fill in all of your appointments for, for March and get more specific um, about March. And then on the side of each one of these also is the month at a glance and then places that you can put notes for this week. Like if you have a grocery list or there's something that you're wanting to accomplish, you can put that on this sidebar over here. And each month is this way. So let's just say I go to July this year. You're going to see this is July. It has kind of a different color thing for each month to keep it interesting for you. And then as you go into the week, you're going to see there is what that looks like. And it gives you places to write. Now, in the back, I purchased some extra little pages for notes and things. I also purchased a little bit of graph paper because I love graph paper and I love sometimes to doodle and draw. And so I, I, I add in a few pages of that. Um, I also use it for lists. Um, I was gonna see if I could show you anything. I use it for all of my personal information. Uh, because I do not take my planner out of the house, it stays in the home in a special place. Um, I write down my personal information. Like sometimes I tell you not to do that, especially if you're going to be taking your planner out with you. Um, but I leave my planner at home, and so I don't carry all this with me, and so I do write down a lot of my um, 
personal information that I would need to get to in a moment's notice, numbers and things, I, I, I list them out in a special place in this. Um, I also list out, like, uh, I make list of what we've watched, what we've watched on television. Like, we might start watching a series, and I will list that out so that we can remember, wait a minute, now, what have we watched so far? We've watched, you know, um, did, like, uh, Jack Ryan is one thing that we watched, and, um, um, the Haunting on Hill House was a um, show that came out that we watched recently that everybody's been talking about. So whatever little movies that we watch and things that, um, little series, we keep up with them so that if like series two or three comes out, I can look and think, okay, wait a minute, we've seen, you know, we've seen the first and the second one. This is the third one. Let's watch it. And so I try to keep up with some little things like that because that's like one of our, our main forms of entertainment for each other. We don't go to the movies a lot, maybe just two or three times a year when we go to the theater and see a movie. We tend to watch Netflix and watch things at home. And, um, and so we kind of like to follow certain things. Also, I write down books that I read, Bible studies that I do. Uh, I write down information on all of my little rows and my team members in this binder um, just so that I have, you know, my day planner so I have those names and things close to me. Um, questions that people ask me that I need to follow up on. I write down interesting news uh, things that I want to follow up on. So in other words, if I read a news story, let's say recently I read about a father that had gone missing in, in Georgia and um, his sons were at home and he had told them, I'm going to run out. I'm going to run down to the mill and get my schedule and then I'm going to come right back. And he never came back. And later they found his suburban way off track somewhere. And so I've been worried about that father and about that case. So I'll jot that down and, and the name of that father so that later on I can follow that case and look up that news story about what's going on. These are the types of things that I use my day planner for. I also use it for all of our appointments, for my husband's appointments, like doctor's appointments, eye appointments, when the contacts need to be ordered, when the medicine needs to be refilled, um, when a bill is paid, uh, I write it down. When it's due, I write it down. And then I go back to that spot when I pay it and I check mark it and I date when it was paid. So I can look at, at, at my calendar at a glance and I can tell um, what is going on, you know, with my bills and my obligations and things like that. Um, so this is kind of how I use my day planner. Um, like I'll, I'll just kind of, well, I'll, I'll cover this part up right here. But... Um, because that has a financial figure that I don't think that I want you to see. But um, this, I'm, I'm just getting started for January. And so I've written down my Amazon page so that I can be sure to go over there. I'm reminding myself to go over there and update it. And then, I, you know, my husband had a checkup appointment at his doctor uh, Thursday, which is yesterday. I've got a little tag there. And so I haven't, be, I've just now begun filling in January. I haven't done a very good job yet, but it's only, well, it is the 4th. It is the 4th. So, yes, for January the 4th. So I need to go in and start filling in some of the items and some of the things. Now, how do I do that? One of the great parts about having a day planner for me is being able to decorate it up. And here are some of the little items that I purchased to go with the little planner. And I do have some of these back on my Amazon page. Um, just this little, this little sticker tablet here um, has like, all right, January. I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn it this way. I think you can see it better this way. And it has stickers that you can use, things for appointments, um, snowflakes. And you can see I've used some like the little gloves and particular ones. And when you go to February, um, you can see that it's all to do with the love and hearts and things like that. March, you know, ha has a lot to do with spring beginning and the clovers and things like that. Let's see here. Keep going. We've got... Um, April tends to be a time that we're thinking about, you know, gardens and um, Easter eggs and bunnies and fresh uh, springy type things. There's May. It's a fresh month where uh, we've got Thanks Mom and um, Mom Life and Best Mom Ever and things like that. I love Mom. This one says it's a mom thing and mom rules so these are some stickers that can go in your may uh calendar and i add those in throughout the month and really decorate it so that it's pretty because i like to look at something that's fresh and new but i just haven't had a chance to do it in january yet here is june's and um you can see that it has father's day listed and it also has a lot of things to do with summer and there's the flamingo and other cute summery things, your lemonade, and sunshine, bathing suits. And here's July. 
Um, it has a lot of cookouts in July the 4th and fun family things there. Uh, August, kind of in that summer mode, hot dogs, watermelon, um, you know, fun times, picnic, cute things like that. Then we're getting into September. We're starting to get the back to school season. And so, you know, we're going to have a lot of uh, fall looking colors starting to appear, you know, back to school, football and um, studying and that kind of thing. Uh, autumn, hello, September. Um, it says the daily grind. Love this time of the year. It's game time, things like that. Okay. And then in October, we have a lot of things to do with Halloween. Some people don't celebrate Halloween, um, but, you know, you might could continue on and use some just generic um, stickers that you find. And even maybe share some of November's because it has a lot of things on it. Um, you can see it's got like the fall wreaths and the coffee and um, cool little things like grateful, thankful, blessed, which is one of my favorite little sayings. I've got a sign that says that in my house. Um, and got like a fox here and a coffee cup. Really cute things that you can add to your day planner to really decorate it and make it creatively yours. Okay, and there's December. I also have this smaller one that's kind of got smaller stickers in it. And um, you can use it too. I, I, I kind of blend them together. And it also has some little appointment stickers. It has things like this in it that you can add. And so I use a lot of these little extras to make my day planner exciting and cute. And if you're, you know, if you're a woman, typically you, you want to be creative and you want to have those things. So they're not very expensive and you can use them all year round. So I think it's worth the money. Those are a few of the items that I have right now on my Amazon page. I hope you will go over and check it out. And uh, I hope that you find some things that maybe you would like too. If you have some items that you have purchased recently that have meant a lot to you and that you enjoy, please leave that in the comments below. I would, I'm always looking to hear about new items that help us around the house, that make life fun, and that uh, help us feel better, and, um, and even cute little things like jewelry that we can enjoy. If it's not very expensive, it's not a great indulgence, then it's definitely something I would be interested in. Friends, I've enjoyed spending just a little bit of time with you today. Thank you so much for spending time with me, and like always, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.